New York might not have come to the brink of bankruptcy like California, but the city and the state are still in desperate need of help from the central government. New York City is facing a budget shortfall in the next two years of more than $6 billion. It's counting on this federal assistance to keep public transportation running, to prevent the loss of 1,000 police officers, One goes where? and to avoid laying off 15,000 teachers. The legislation also contains over a billion dollars to repair roads and bridges in the state. But that's only enough for a fraction of the projects vying for federal money. The stimulus bill is welcome news for this group of New York small town mayors and administrators. They're due to get an extra $24.6 billion to help make up budget shortfalls in their communities. But New York's governor is warning the stimulus money will not be the answer to all of the state's problems, and he hasn't ruled out budget cuts. If we reduce our deficit, we cannot use the stimulus money to replace our inability to cut spending, and I can't say it enough. New York, like most states, has been putting off all but the most necessary repairs to roads and bridges, even the world-famous Brooklyn Bridge. The stimulus package aims not only to fix those infrastructure problems, but also to create jobs. More than 200,000 here in New York alone. As a result, the money comes with some restrictions. This bill is a stopgap measure for the American economy. It's needed, and we support it, and it will create jobs. But it won't transform the American landscape in the way that the New Deal did. It won't. Uh, create the next version of the interstate highway system, for example. Even in education, where federal spending will double in the next two years, the union representing New York City teachers says it's not enough. We were looking at massive, massive cuts before the stimulus package, and we're still looking at cuts that, would, uh, that are severe, but completely devastating is uh, not what we're looking at at this moment, at least for the next two years. The stimulus legislation puts tremendous power in state capitals, where governors will decide which communities and which projects receive funding. But ultimately, it's President Barack Obama who will be judged by its ability to jumpstart the economy. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.